What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Stock Price Predictions. If y'all would, hit that subscribe button for me. Also, hit that uh, like button and the notification bell. Boy, do we have a lot to talk about today. First, let's go ahead and just call this Black Monday. The crash we had today, especially with crypto falling. Woo! Let's just call today Black Monday. If you don't know what that is, that's when the market crashed huge. Okay, so let's just go ahead and call it Black Monday. But we have a lot to get into today. I have a lot of news for you guys. So uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, enjoy this video. I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own research when investing. I am here to give you all the news about the stock market, what's making it go up, and what's making it go down. It's the only source you need. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified first about all the breaking news affecting the stock market. All right, let's get into Tesla. Tesla has announced that they're going to do a vote to do a three to one split for Tesla. So if you own one stock of Tesla, you'll have three. Now, this voting's coming up in um, August. So uh, I'm sure it'll get approved. They always get approved. So uh, we have a Tesla stock split coming. And uh, that's great for the stock because uh, more people can afford to buy calls, calls for it when it's cheaper and that will drive the price up. All right, so that's Tesla, you know, let's see what, what happens with it. Um, you know, it's a great company. Um, do you guys own Tesla? Let me know um, in the comment section if y'all do. But a big thing going on is uh, Celsius, a crypto trading app, Celsius has frozen its withdrawals. You cannot withdraw from Celsius. I hope you guys aren't holding any money there, holding any crypto because they froze it. When the crypto market uh, started crashing last night Celsius froze to where you cannot withdraw your money look I feel bad for you guys that have any money in Celsius it's it, that ain't right um, so I hope for everybody out there Celsius frozen assets you can't get your money out that sucks fingers crossed that they get this taken care of very quick because uh, it's not right that you can't get your money out now Another thing I wanted to announce to everyone is that I was going to start a brokerage business. I was going to go into a business such as like Robinhood or Webull, um, but I've decided not to do that. The reason being is the brokerage businesses are not doing good. People are not signing up. Um, it's basically retail investors. It's no new retail investors. It's it's very low. The numbers of uh, new invest new investors signing up for Robinhood or uh, Webull or uh, Coinbase or uh, you know any of these FTX, the numbers are low. So with that being said, I was like, yo, no, not doing it. Uh, not enough people signing up. So um, you know maybe when the market changes, maybe when pe when investing becomes more popular again and people can start want to start investing. But as far as new investors, it's not worth it right now to start up a brokerage uh, business. It's just not worth it. The, the customers aren't coming in. Now, let's get into the market bottom. Are we close to a market bottom? Probably, I hope so. But if you look at the history of crashes, you will see that the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 are always within 5% of each other when we hit a bottom. So bad news, the NASDAQ's down approximately 30%. The S&P is only down 18%. So we still have a long ways to go if history repeats itself as far as, as, far as the S&P and the NASDAQ are within 5% of each other. Hopefully we'll break that pattern. We'll see. But um, usually they're within 5% of each other before the bottom happens in the market. Now, Bitcoin has fallen and it's fell fast. Where is the bottom with Bitcoin? Well. I did some technical analysis on it and um, really it's saying it should not go lower than 19k. Now if we break that 19k we are going to go down very very far, very low. 19k would be a 50% halving of Bitcoin. All right, So we do not need it to go there. Okay, We're already down like uh, how much was it down for uh, the year to date is down like 42%. Okay. Netflix is down like 70%. So it's crazy that Bitcoin's holding up better than Netflix. 
But remember, 19K is a strong support. It has to have support at 19K. If we don't have support at 19K, we're going to fall and continue to fall. So let's watch that 19K number because it's going to get bad. Because lots of people bought Bitcoin when it was 5,000, 10,000. All right, they've made lots of money. Now we're starting to scare these people. So when these people start getting scared, they're going to start selling. It's going to go down even more. So remember, 19K is a very strong support line for Bitcoin. So let's hope that we can hold. Now, the Federal Reserve, they came out with this high 8.4% inflation rate. Well, we already know it's way higher than that. It's probably about 12, 15%. But why are they telling us 8.4? You know, uh, in May, they said April's peak and it was starting to come down. Now they're saying it's coming back up. Hopefully that's a sign that this is, that's a lie and that they're ready to start putting money back into stocks. You know, we've been on this decline in stocks since November 2021. All right, so it's been about six, seven months. We've been just going down. So hopefully they put this 8.4 out to scare retail investors to start selling because we're the last ones to sell. We are still holding. We are still buying. Maybe they're trying to scare us to drive the price down so they can buy back in at cheaper prices. You know, they don't put out the real numbers anyway, so they put out 8.4, seems very high. We all know it's higher than that. So uh, let's see what happens. You know, let's hopefully they're ready to start putting money back into the uh, market because uh, we all know that Nancy Pelosi did. She put a lot of money into the market last week. She bought millions of dollars of calls into Apple. She also bought millions of dollars of calls into Microsoft. I'm not sure the exact numbers, but I know it was millions of dollars worth. So if she's buying that, and if she's, you know, putting all that money back into the market, maybe she knows something that, you know, Wall Street knows that we don't know. Maybe they are about to start putting it back into the market. Who knows? But we hope so. Um, the economy's not looking good. It looks like we're going to be in a recession. They can officially announce it on July 28th. So um, let's see. You guys think we're in a recession? Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts if we are in a recession or not. I believe we are in a recession right now. I mean, if you look at the um, stats of the economy, it's definitely, I would definitely say that we are in a recession. We already had negative GDP. So when we look at, get our next report, I believe it's July 28th, we are definitely going to uh, pretty much, I would say, be in a recession and they can announce it, um, you know, on TV and the news stations can finally announce it. Um, Red, uh, Red Box didn't go up much today. It was up um, around 30% at one time. It ended up closing around 10%. The short interest on Red Box is still over 200% short interest, which is high. It costs very high to borrow the shares. So uh, be ready for that to take off again. And um, let's see if we can get it up like GMC and AMC. I hope so. We need some, some way to make money in this market with uh, everything going down. Anyways, leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll be back later with another video. See you on the next one.